for aspiring coaches, man, how do you game plan? Take, you know, are you are you a guy that, you know, from a defensive standpoint, I'm going to take away multiple strengths that you have or players or, or concepts? Like, how do you break a team down and then say, you know what, y'all run the ball, y'all ain't running tomorrow? <laughs> that's, that's, that's a great question, man. So um, the main thing, the first thing that we focus on, that I, we focus on is – their top run plays and their top RPOs. Right. So I'm gonna make sure that we have those fit. Because what offenses want to do? They want to run. They want to throw RPO. They want to be cute. They want to be known for throwing RPO. So we at least gonna. The goal of the takeaway with one side is to make sure we're matched up for the RPO. Mm-hmm. It's some Florida teams down there. They might be listening. So I gotta be careful. <laughs> gotta be careful what I say, but. <laughs> RPO driven, all right. We got to make sure we stop the RPOs, and then uh, when when you're game planning the team, you got to find out first of all who who are their guys, all right. Stop the run, stop the RPO, and and to me the word aggression doesn't mean blitzing sixty percent of the time. It means that when we we're covering man to man a lot, mm-hmm. uh, they still trying to teach me how to play zone. <laughs> <laughs> I played dumb when they talking about the cook. Can we play a cover three? I'm like, what you what you mean? Like, <laughs> but I know what cover three is, but match rest, that up too. <laughs> yeah, I can we match that up too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we we match that up too. So that that's the aggression that that's the aggression part. Like, I'm not gonna always blitz just to call a blitz. Now I will get mad and call three blitzes in a row. Right. Most part, when we blitz, we won't, we're gonna blitz formations, we're gonna blitz back, we blitz in the level of the back, mm-hmm. like all that kind of stuff. And I'm re- we're real big on our linebackers making the making the uh not the, the the checks to stop certain plays, so our linebackers don't set the front, right? So I have the D tackle set the front so they can learn football one. So it's not- about time. Listen, that's, listen, listen, listen. that's because he played linebacker. What's yeah. the tight call? Yeah, no, no. So they, they set the front themselves. <laughs> and the linebackers, their job is to check the, <laughs> check the tight end, the running backs level. Correct. Check, check the formation. Check the splits. So you can set, Correct. okay, now see, instead of you waiting on the tight end on or off, is he going to trade? That ain't your job. Right. To stop these football plays, right? Absolutely, <laughs> and, and find that joker. So that's that's kind of the philosophy of our defenses. Is, is really I want the linebackers to be able to do that, and then you know you, you got to find if they got a receiver. You got to make sure that you're you're not leaving your backside corner by himself. Mm-hmm. Uh, so like that's kind of the those are the as I'm I'm breaking down the first four games right now, and I'm I'm looking I'm like okay they love they love that X receiver back here, right? Let me make sure. Let me see if he's gone. You know, right. but uh, so that so you got to really think about part of it because those are the things they 